we can employ for the fastest preparation of it. Uh, but at first, I would like to say one very simple but important thing. Uh, we need to approach this piece or any other piece of that difficulty very patiently and not to move from one stage of preparation to another before we achieve a maximum result. So patience is, I think, a key to successful learning of that type of music. So here are a few stages I would suggest to go through. At first, I think it's important to spend the first week or so playing it in a rather slow tempo. Four or eight notes legato per bow with a very good articulation in left hand and sustained sound in the right one. Something like this. <laughs> Once the good level of intonation is achieved, uh, I would suggest to add dotted rhythms both ways to increase the difficulty for the left hand and to prepare it to move faster and more efficiently. Another way around. That can take another few days. Again, I wouldn't rush through the process and would not suggest raising the tempo yet. Once a good quality is achieved, uh, we can move on to a detaché, practicing in the middle of the bow, but still in a moderate tempo, something like this. From that point, we can start gradually raising the tempo. This I would do very gradually and suggest to raise the tempo bar only after we feel that we achieve the high quality of execution and achieve the feeling of relative easiness and freedom. It's important to remember, I think, that the raise of the tempo has to be very, very gradual and we have to be very patient. At the end, when the desired speed is achieved and the piece is more or less performance ready, I think that it's very important to always combine running through in real tempo with significant amount of slow cleaning up sessions. I don't have any particular ratio of fast versus slow in mind, but I think that the slower one should prevail over the faster one. 
The last thing in regard to preparation of the humoresque, I would like to mention two of the less conventional techniques Rostropovich decided to put on his piece. The rest of the piece contains more or less similar type of difficulty as, let's say, opera dance or the else. The first one is fifth and fourth in double stops in the thumb position. There is one little detail which I think helps to execute them cleaner and more precisely. Here it is. While changing positions in them, I would suggest to articulate every quarter in right hand and make a micro stop in the right hand when shifting. The other one is the fingered octaves in the end of the piece. The technique uh, which is usually associated with violin virtuoso music, not the Picello one. Uh, one thing I find quite important while practicing them, it's left hand balance. Very often when we play regular octaves, we do it with a straightened and uh, flat third finger, something like this. But there is nothing wrong about it when we play regular octaves. But for the fingered ones at the end of the humoresque, I would suggest to change it to much rounder third finger position, which would allow the hand to move much freer to the next octave played with the first, uh, with the first and fourth fingers. 